What's going on YouTube? It is 717, March 25th. And I'm gonna do a quick recap of Upstart. Upstart today, what is going on with Upstart? Because this stock took a heck of a run. I mean, a heck of a run in the last week. And there's not a whole lot of information on Upstart. And if you're like me and you enjoy reading the Weeble comments, then you probably got pretty scared. And if you're a paper hand bastard, you probably sold all of it. And I'm not going to lie. I sold Upstart too. I took a pretty good L on Upstart, honestly. Um, and I'll tell you why I took an L on Upstart. <coughs> Let me back up here to the one hour chart. Let me back it up. <coughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. So I bought into Upstart right about here. At about the $90, $95 mark, right? Upstart was on a hell of a run. News that they acquired another company. Um, expanding their technology into some other dealers. You know, it's pretty positive moves them moving forward. This is a fairly new company. So, upstart spikes. Boom. 100% hitter, right? 54 all the way up to 94. Insane. Goes down, spikes up. See a solid bull flag forming on these uh, intraday charts. We're pretty impressive. So, I was trading it up, down, up, down, riding it up. Looking good, looking good. I was actually trading AMC during this time frame. So I bought an upstart a little late here and ended up taking this big dip. Why did it take the dip? Because people took profits. There was no news. The stock market itself on this day took a big hit. This was Monday. Everything went red Monday. Everywhere. Whole market red. I don't think I had a green freaking candle in sight. It was really bad. And what we looked at here is this could have been a nice cup and handle, but it wasn't, right? So after hours, it looked a little promising, had a spike in the morning, which ended up being a fake bull flag. If I zoom uh, back here, faked me out, bought back in, wrote it down, was hoping for it to reverse. The whole market just stayed red. So in the comments section there on Weeble, boy, the bears were out. Boy, the bears were out. You would have thought you just left stakes all over the national parks. There were bears everywhere. This thing, $80, loaded up on puts, puts printing, going to 60, 60 in a day, 80 in a day, finally fill the gap. That was every comment. Every one of them, bears talking shit. Every single comment. It's a frustrating amount. Now, I attribute what happened with Upstart to two things. One, 170 is high. They upped the price target to 135 on the way up. Solid, right? So that's price target for the year. It's not like a price target for today, but still not unrealistic. 170 is a bit high, but it could easily bounce around the 120 to 140 range, right? Especially with some momentum. Didn't have a whole lot of volume after that day. These are small trades. It didn't move a lot real fast. So upstart comes down. Oh, Bears are just loving it, right? Boom, 112, 113. I'm like, ah, that hurts. After hours, trade sideways. Pre-market, down, right? Stock opens up. The day shoots up. Boom, 116, 118, 122, 113. Bears get excited. Hits 130, 36. Tapers down into the 120s, closes at 123. Now, Let's zoom back out to this one hour chart. Big old cup and handle coming back in. Why did it do this? There's no new news for Upstart that's going to be of any importance to the stock reacting like this. Um, it just reacted to the market. That's what happened. It's a market reaction. This is a market reaction. This is a market reaction. This is a market reaction. Where's the stock probably going to end up? Probably somewhere in this area, 124 to 135 range. Probably hover out there. If you loaded up on puts, but and you weren't right here at 160, 170 when you bought them, I'm sorry. They are not printing. And if you tell me they're printing, leave a comment, post a picture. I don't believe you. The guys that posted, oh, yeah, my put's printing. Put them up there. Let me see them. I saw one guy, oh, it's $5. He had $5 in the green. That's not printing. Five bucks ain't printing shit. Let's get that straight, right? I want to see, uh, I want to see an options contract print 40, 50 percent. I don't want to see it print five dollars, especially, especially when you paid a premium 
like that. Look at those premiums on the puts. <sighs> You're talking about buying an 80 strike put. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. $200. Currently $200. Let me tell you something. When that stock was 170 that put wasn't no damn $200. That's far away from that. You want to buy something that's going to print you money, you better shell out some big bucks. Big bucks. And they're going down fast. When you have a chart that goes up, and then barcodes like that, that's burn that put. And I know this because I own puts and calls and other, other stocks that are a little longer out, and they will just be deep in the red. So deep in the red, you can't, you can't see green, right? You just, you're buried in red paint. So I think Upstart will have a, a decent uh, consolidation moment here. It would take a market reversal for this thing to do what they call is to fill the gap and to come back down here because they're all oh, fill the gap. Well, the gap is filling it from where it was at yesterday. Well, yesterday it was uh, a little lower than it was today, which means that they'd want it to come back down to 119, but it's probably going to bounce and bounce around and up and down. And it's not a super volatile stock and it's not a high volume stock. Today's volume 3.8 million versus GameStop, which had a hell of a run at 50 million at AMC at 130 million and uh, Zom Medica Group at 85 million. So 3.8 million is not that crazy volume. You're going to need to get some serious movement to push it. Look at some of these uh, some of these big movers, most active. Sundial Growers, their volume is always nuts. And that stock barely barely moving, honestly. It's not moving that much. These are the biggest uh, traders for the day on volume. These are what we had happen. So... Look at that one. Look at Apple. Two, two trillion freaking shares move. And uh, it doesn't change that much. So keep that in mind. The volume is low. There's not a whole lot of hype around it. People took out. I think a lot of people did what I did and jumped out and threw money in something like that. But if you're still in it and you held through it, good job. If you bought it 170 and you held through it, my recommendation is to try to average down, obviously. Um, if it takes, you know, getting a high like that and taking an L and rebuying back in or moving on to something else that's going to get you your money back because it's going to be a while before this thing gets up to 170 again. Let's just be honest. There's no reason for it to be there. So that's my take on Upstart. Check them out for some other stock videos as well as some of the other plays. I'm going to kind of do them individually instead of all at once. So if you like the channel, give me a like, give me a subscribe, leave me a comment. I will definitely answer them. I will be doing some lives probably next week. Uh, we'll start doing some market lives on some of the stocks that I watch um, in and out. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Till next time.